Ah, <sighs> this is the life. It just doesn't get any better than this. Well, I'm just a little irritated right now because I'm stuck. So this right here is the problem. I'm halfway across the country and I need to find somebody to repair this, like, soon. Greetings from South Dakota, and this is what makes it all worthwhile. This is my campsite here. I'm on BLM land. It's just free camping. And uh, I have this place all to myself. I'm right outside Badlands National Park entrance, so I'll be checking that out tomorrow. Everyone was talking about how Badlands never looks like this. They had gotten this highly unusual dumping of rain over the last few weeks and the grass, which is usually brown and drab like the rocks, was this super lush green. And I was there to capture it and it was actually sunny, so it was awesome. Plus, I was able to drone, not over the park, which is illegal, but outside the boundary. I thought that was just super cool. It was a picture perfect day and it felt like I was just taking postcards everywhere I turned. Well, I'm just a little irritated right now because I'm stuck. Um, I went to Devil's Monument and was told I need to unhitch if I want to go to the top, that my rig is too long. There's a parking lot where everybody can unhitch, and I couldn't unhitch. The uh, landing jacks have a thingy that's broken. I have a broken thingy. Um, basically, I can't use the manual uh, crank either because it's an actual part of the mechanism that's broken. So. So I'm stuck. I'm halfway across the country. I don't feel comfortable not being able to unhitch. So the good news is I have called Grand Design and they said it's totally fine. I just need to find somebody to do it and they will reimburse me. So, <sighs> But all in all, today was a good day. I saw a buffalo this morning and then there were all these prairie dogs just everywhere. I mean, their burrows were all over the place. And so of course I had to stop and make a friend with one of those. And then on to Mount Rushmore, which I just made a quick stop, but wanted to go there before going to Devil's Tower, which is in Wyoming. And oh my goodness, you can see it for miles and miles away. And it just looks like this giant thimble sticking up in the air. And when you get closer, it doesn't even seem real with these great big vertical grooves definitely worth seeing. And Wyoming itself just feels so big and open, just big, wide, open sky. It just feels huge. So it was cool to drone over that. Really do like Wyoming. And then as I was driving along, I heard an ad on the radio for an ice cream cafe. So I had to go there. And the nice ladies there told me where I could park, not at the Walmart, which is not allowed, but at an abandoned Kmart. So that's where I am.
day 10 and I made an appointment at a shop in Missoula, Montana and they got my jacks fixed. Woohoo! And while it was there, I had them put a shutoff valve on my water tank. That way it won't slosh out every time I go uphill. So back on the road and Montana is gorgeous. And then going into Idaho, oh my goodness, it was just so beautiful. This is right on the Montana-Idaho border. And then into Idaho, wow. Lake Coeur d'Alene, oh, so amazing. Oh my gosh, Washington, what a surprise. Eastern Washington, big wide open spaces, lots of wheat fields. They were fun to look at from the air. The patterns in the wheat made me think of fingerprints. And I stayed at a rest area, realizing that here it is day 10. I probably only have one more night on the road and I will be there. What a long, crazy, wonderful trip this has been. Well, it feels good to finally be here 2942 miles can you believe that wow well if you like this video you're gonna love the next one I'm gonna drone over the park and I am gonna go to Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier so I have lots of really cool stuff planned so thanks for being here for my journey please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.